If you haven't heard, the Board of Education just approved an attendance boundary change. Reporter Christy Dung tells us how it affects Southeast students. BOE members voted unanimously to change high school boundaries assignment. Move portion, the northwestern portion of the Southeast boundary uh, to be assigned to Heights High School starting next school year. So that is students that reside within that area starting next school year will, have the, uh, will, will, will be assigned to Heights High School. Some type of change like this has been long awaited here at Southeast. There was such little that Southeast staff could do to help with this situation. I think uh, our staff has done an amazing job of, you know, 17 overages, people teaching during their plan time. So this is a this is a, a good thing that we've we've held the ship together, but we needed some decisions to be made to kind of share the wealth of all the students that we've, uh, we've uh, got at Southeast. Some students agree with this change because it benefits their safety. It's so overcrowded, it's actually pretty unsafe. I've been pushed down the stairs twice because of people trying to go down the stairs so fast and the you're in a, such a crammed tight space that you can never be able to have room. Even though moving to Heights will help with safety concerns, Johnson feels bittersweet about leaving. I mean, like I said, it, it's kind of suck because you there's amazing teachers here and it's a great school pretty decent students, but it's, it's going to be hard, but I think it's best because it's so crowded. Some students even say Southeast is their home and they don't want to leave. I've been here for three years, so I've made relationships with teachers, with other students, with staff members, and I've, I'm in multiple sports programs and I just really enjoy the environment here. But the good news is, if you're currently at Buffalo, you don't have to move. You can stay here until you graduate. This solution is only short term. The BOE is trying to figure out a long term solution, but they need to do a demography study first, which would show the statistic of the population here in the Wichita district. It'll give us the numbers, it'll give us future projections, and then from there we'll make a decision um, on, on a potential boundary change in the longer term future. But again, we need that data and we need to understand where the growth is happening and what we anticipate in the longer term. For BTV, I'm Christy Dong.